Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Two of Wands. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next, I'll briefly explain what the Two of Wands means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up both in the upright and reversed position in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate to the card in a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end, and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot deck in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below, as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Two of Wands, we see a nobleman gazing out over a lush landscape that includes a village, forests, mountains, and the sea. He appears to be standing inside the walls of a castle. He has a wand in his left hand that is bolted to the castle wall. In his right hand is a globe. There is a second wand to his right. He's wearing a red hat and a brown cloak over orange clothing. On the left side of the wall is a symbol showing a cross with a lily and a rose. The sky is gray. When the Two of Wands shows up in a reading, it means that you have a decision to make. In the case of this nobleman, he can stay with the status quo and live a comfortable life in his castle overlooking a village and the sea, which is what would be expected of him. Or he can be bold and explore the world. This card is about taking risks, weighing your options, choosing a new path, and making decisions that will result in doing what makes you happy. In some ways, it is an invitation to choose more in your life. Let's go back to the card and discuss what each element symbolizes. We see a nobleman gazing out over a lush landscape that includes a village, forests, mountains, and the sea. Since he appears to be standing inside the walls of a castle, I'm assuming that he owns the land below him. The land looks idyllic, as if he has everything he needs, yet to me he looks lonely and kind of sad. It looks like he's trying to make a decision. Should he stay in his current situation, which looks amazing but probably doesn't fulfill him, or should he go out and explore the world which is literally in his hands? The gray sky shows that his mood is neutral and objective, so he's making his decision carefully and without emotion. He has a wand in his left hand that is bolted to the castle wall. This is the wand from the Ace of Wands. He's completed the first step in his journey and has mounted it as evidence of his achievement that now supports him moving to the next step. He's holding on to it with his left hand, which represents his logical mind. This indicates that he is giving his current situation careful thought. The second wand is in his right hand and he's looking away from it. The twos are all about growth. It's like he's pondering what needs to happen to continue growing to the next level, which is the Three of Wands. Note that both wands have buds, which represents continued growth. In his right hand is a globe. I'm not sure if this means that he is contemplating a larger world that he is literally holding in his hands, or that he's realizing that his current life is very small and now sees the safety of his castle as a prison. He's holding the globe in his right hand. We know that wands is the suit of action, so it seems like he's looking for new challenges. Since he's gazing across the landscape toward the sea, it seems like his new challenge may involve travel. Oceans are all about being connected to the world. He's wearing a red hat and a brown cloak over orange clothing. His clothing is very simple and grounded. Rather than being dressed in his noble finest, he appears to be dressed for travel and his next adventure. The red hat means that he is full of passion, and that is what is driving him forward. On the left side of the wall is a symbol showing a cross with a lily and a rose. Roses represent passion, lilies represent purity, and the cross represents faith. These are also the three colors of alchemy, black, white, and red, which signify the stages of transformation. The purple mountains in the background represent the marriage of heaven and earth. When the Two of Wands appears upright in a reading, 
It means that you are at a crossroads in your life. You are caught between two worlds. You have experienced great achievements but are longing for more. You are making decisions and planning for the future. You are widening your perspective and embracing new ideas. You are ready to choose a bold path that is unexpected. You have the power to control your world. And finally, this card may represent decisions regarding your home. For example, should you sell it and buy something different? It can literally represent a home with a patio or balcony. Here's an example of the upright two of wands from my life about longing for more. As you follow these videos, you'll learn that I am a very enthusiastic quilter and have a basement full of fabric. I also subscribe to several email newsletters from quilting companies that showcase their new fabric. One particularly great newsletter arrives on Saturday night and another on Sunday mornings. So on Sunday mornings, while I'm drinking my coffee, I look at the new fabric and basically drool. I want it all. I think of the things I could make. It doesn't matter that I already own enough fabric to keep me busy for the rest of my life or that I have limited time for quilting. I still long for more fabric. So I'm stuck with making a choice. Do I buy more fabric that I don't need and will drain my bank account? Or do I feel sad because I really want more fabric but know I don't need it? Like the nobleman who is making a decision with his rational mind, I'm at the point where I can talk myself out of most of the fabric purchases. When the Two of Wands appears reversed in a reading, it can mean that you are overanalyzing decisions or are unable to make a decision. You feel stuck. You lack the self-confidence to change your situation. You want change but are afraid to take the first step. You have limited resources. You feel that other people hold all the power. You are acting hastily. Despite your best efforts, your plans don't work out as you hoped. Or you are afraid of open spaces. Here's an example of the reversed reading from my life about giving away your power and being afraid to follow your dreams. I have always loved to write. I wrote my first novel when I was six. My dream was to be a writer or a journalist. However, back when I was in high school, everybody knew that being a writer was impractical, including my guidance counselor who assured me that nobody could earn their living as a writer. In hindsight, of course this was ridiculous. I mean, this was long before the days of artificial intelligence and somebody had to write the newspaper that was delivered every afternoon to our house or the books I devoured from the local library. Basically, I lacked the self-confidence to follow my heart. I was afraid to take the risk of being a writer and went for the more practical route, which was getting a business degree. I guess I chose the safety of staying within my castle, which in my case was a very modest bungalow in the suburbs that I shared with my parents and three siblings. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Two of Wands. Number one. Have you ever felt that you have everything but are longing for more? Number two, are you ready for change? Number three, what is standing in the way of pursuing new opportunities or goals? For instance, do you tend to overanalyze things and end up not taking action? Number four, what new adventures do you crave? Number five, when have you felt like you've had the whole world in your hands? Do you feel like that now? Number six, do you feel like you are playing it safe? I'd love to have you post your answers or insights in the comment portion of this video. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video, The Three of Wands.